In today's Casual Friday video, we're gonna be assembling the HTR from Neza. When they ship the bikes, they've got plenty of padding in here. They even have these two boxes on the front and the back. Now there was only something in one of those boxes. So they kind of utilized that space to transport some more of the accessories. However, one of them was just full of air and it just allows a little bit more protection for their bikes. One of the things we gotta do is adjust the stem and the headset. You'll notice that the headset is way down on the bike. That would not be a very comfortable way to ride, although you could if you, I guess, wanted to. You have to remove that sleeve and then put the sleeve back on and also reinstall the headset. Not really a big deal, just a couple bolts here. Then we're gonna install the pedals. Now, one of the most difficult parts of this build was actually putting these fenders together. 99% of the time, the fenders are already built when they get to you. So this is a bit of a new experience for me having to put this together. I made plenty of mistakes and I'll let you in on a pro tip. There are two different types of bolts. They're not necessarily labeled. I mean, you could probably could use common sense, right? I could use common sense, but they're not labeled. The ones with the blue thread locker are gonna be the ones that tighten the fender to the frame. And the ones without thread locker are gonna be the ones that attach the rod to the fenders. Now, full disclosure, I did not realize that till after I was done. So wrapped filming on the video as we kind of got everything put back together. And then later in the afternoon, I went back and made those adjustments. My first impression of this bike right out of the box is that this is definitely a street bike. There's not a whole lot of options as far as raising or lowering the handlebars. And then if you look back at the rear derailleur, it is very close to the ground. When I went out to shoot the B-roll for the review, which I've already done, I did have to ride the bike through some taller grassy areas and I did end up getting some of that grass stuck in different parts of that derailleur. And we'll have more details for you in our in-depth review of the Neza HTR, which we will be releasing in a few days.